Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a red needle. This cocktail was created by the legendary singer, songwriter, and poet, Leonard Cohen. And if you're not familiar with who he is, he's been known to sing such songs as Suzanne and an incredible rendition of Hallelujah. Now, that's one of my renditions, actually, that I really, not my rendition, of course, but it is a rendition that I really, really enjoy. Now, if you're a fan of Leonard Cohen, let me know down below what your favorite song or poem of his is. Now, having said all of that, the cocktail itself was created in 1975 in a little place called Needles, California, off Route 66. And at the time, Leonard said it was 116 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 46 and a half Celsius if you're everywhere else in the rest of the world. And that's pretty dang hot. And you know what? He was obviously looking for something really simple to make that would really refresh him. Now, it's a simple build in a glass cocktail. And because it's a red needle, I'm going to build it in a highball. You can put it in whatever you want. And I'm going to build it exactly the way I've seen him do it in a European uh, interview. So what he did is he started this with tequila. And he was very specific that it didn't matter what type of tequila you used, as long as you used a good one that you enjoyed. So we're going to start this with two ounces or 60 milliliters. The next part of this is actually to go directly to some ice. Now, it didn't necessarily matter the type of ice either. However, I've seen multiple instances where he used some crushed ice. Now, we don't need a lot. We only want to fill the glass up about halfway. And I know this seems like an oddball way to make this cocktail, but you know what? We're doing it his way. His next ingredient is lemon. Now you might be confused for thinking, well, he wanted lemon juice, but no, we actually need a slice of lemon. So grab yourself your lemon, and what we'll do is we'll just cut a slice out, cut that in half, and put both halves into the glass. Our next step in the process is actually cranberry juice. And you need about four ounces or 120 mils. Basically what we're going to do is just top the glass up. And that does look so pretty. Now what we'll do is we'll just give this a very basic stir just to incorporate everything, even though it looks like it's already there. And here we have a red needle. Let's try it out. Oh, <laughs> I can see exactly why he liked it. You immediately get that tequila, it's right there. And you get the cranberry coming up with just a subtle hint of lemon. If you like cocktails that are inspired by or created by musicians, take a look after the recipe card right up here. 